Happy New Year, friends. Before you start celebrating, please remember that Ubers, Lyfts, and taxis are a lot cheaper than funerals. So to end out the year and to begin a new one, I thought I would visit the grave sites and remember some of the famous people who died on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. The cemeteries remind us to count our blessings and good fortune and to make the most of every minute we're given. So I can't think of a better place to start the new year than in a cemetery, can you? Actor, singer, and teen idol Ricky Nelson died on New Year's Eve, December 31st, 1985, at the age of 45, in a plane crash in DeKalb, Texas. Nelson got his start as a child actor on his parents' television sitcom, The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, which aired from 1952 to 1966. And while he appeared on both TV and in movies, he's probably best remembered for his many hit songs over the years. At one point in his career, he was just as popular as Elvis Presley. Nelson is buried near his parents on a hillside at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Hollywood Hills. I'll put a link down below this video in case you'd like to see the location on a map. And I'll do the same for all of the grave sites that I visit in this video. Actor Wayne Rogers died from complications of pneumonia on New Year's Eve 2015 in Los Angeles, California at the age of 82. Rogers is probably best remembered for his role as Captain Trapper John McIntyre on the CBS TV sitcom MASH from 1972 to 1975. His crypt is located in the outdoor mausoleum at Westwood Village Memorial Park in Westwood, California. The cremated ashes of Ricky Nelson's older brother, David Nelson, are also interred here in this cemetery. Actor William Christopher, who was also on the TV show MASH, died exactly one year after Wayne Rogers on December 31st, 2016. He died in Pasadena, California at the age of 84 from cancer. Christopher is probably best remembered for his role as Father Mulcahy on MASH, but he also played Private Lester Hummel on the TV sitcom Gomer Pyle, USMC, from 1965 to 1968. He was cremated, and the whereabouts of his ashes are unknown at this time. Major League Baseball player and Hall of Famer Roberto Clemente died in a plane crash at the young age of 38 on December 31st, 1972, while en route to deliver aid to earthquake victims in Nicaragua. Shortly after takeoff, his plane went down in the ocean just off the coast of Puerto Rico, and sadly, his body was never recovered. Actor Edward Herman died from brain cancer on New Year's Eve 2014 at the age of 71 in Manhattan, New York. Herman appeared in more than 100 movies and TV shows, but he's probably best remembered for his role as Richard Gilmore on The Gilmore Girls that aired from 2000 to 2007. Like so many other famous people, he was cremated and has no final resting place for fans to visit. If you're a baby boomer, then you probably remember the TV sitcom Dennis the Menace. It aired from 1959 to 1963, and starred child actor Jay North as Dennis Mitchell. North is now 67 years old. You may remember the child actor Billy Booth played Dennis's best friend, Tommy Anderson. Booth died on New Year's Eve, December 31st, 2006 from liver complications at the age of 57 in San Luis Obispo, California. He was cremated and the whereabouts of his ashes are currently unknown. Pete Duell was a very popular actor back in the 1960s who died on December 31st, 1971 in Hollywood, California at the young age of 31 from a self-inflicted gunshot to the head. Duell appeared on more than two dozen TV shows but is probably best remembered for his roles on Gidget from 1965 to 1966, on Love on a Rooftop from 1966 to 1967, and in Alias Smith and Jones 
that aired from 1971 to 1972. He's buried at Oakwood Cemetery in Penfield, New York. I'm here once again at Woodlawn Cemetery in Santa Monica, California. And I'm here today to visit the gravesite of two brothers who died at the young age of 19 on New Year's Day in 1934. Los Angeles had a massive flood on that day and 40 people were killed. 40 people drowned, including the two brothers. Now, these two brothers were actors who were two of the earliest members of the R Gang series. And they're right here behind me, right at the corner. The flood was such a big deal and so shocking at the time, the popular singer Woody Guthrie even wrote and sang a song about it. So I debated whether to visit these two brothers for my New Year's vlog. I don't want to start the year off in a depressing way. But in a way, I don't think it's depressing to remember people from the past. I think that's actually pretty positive. And here it is, more than 80 years after they died, we're still remembering them. So I think of that as a, a positive thing. I think they would have, I hope they would have been happy to be remembered 80 years later. And who knows, 100 years from now, hopefully they'll still be remembered. Especially if uh, YouTube is around doing, and people are still doing vlogs like this, I'm sure they will. My next stop is to Inglewood Park Cemetery in Inglewood, California, and the Mausoleum of the Golden West. And here we'll find the cremation niche of actor Cesar Romero. Fans of the 1960s TV series Batman will remember Romero as the Joker. And even though he appeared in more than 100 movies, in more than 70 TV shows, he probably is best remembered for his role as the Joker. I'll pan around so you can see a little bit more of his final resting place. And straight down this corridor at the end to the right is the crypt of singer Ray Charles. Romero died in Santa Monica, California at the age of 86 on January 1st, 1994 from a blood clot. He was cremated and his ashes are interred here with his family in the alcove of music. Unfortunately, it's very dimly lit here and difficult to see, but if you look closely, you can see his name. Another Batman TV show alumni is actor Victor Buono. He also died on New Year's Day. He died January 1st, 1982, at the young age of 43, from a heart attack while living in Apple Valley, California. It's interesting that two of the actors from the TV show Batman and two of the actors from the TV show MASH all died on New Year's Day. I visited Greenwood Memorial Park in San Diego earlier this year looking for Victor Buono's final resting place, but I wasn't able to find it. According to his Find a Gray Memorial page, he was cremated and his ashes are interred in his mother's crypt. But I looked everywhere for hours in this section and I wasn't able to find his mother's crypt. So if any of you have visited recently, please let me know in the comments section down below. Another person whose grave I wasn't able to find is actor Barton McLean. You may remember him for his role as General Peterson on the 1960s TV sitcom I Dream of Jeannie. McLean died January 1st, 1969 at the age of 66 in Santa Monica, California from double pneumonia. He appeared in more than 125 films, but he's probably best remembered for his role on I Dream of Jeannie. He's buried at the Valhalla Cemetery in North Hollywood, California. And once again, I wasn't able to find his gravesite. So if anyone has visited and knows where it's located, please let me know in the comments section down below. Actress Donna Douglas also died on New Year's Day. She died January 1st, 2015 at the age of 82 from pancreatic cancer in Zachary, Louisiana. 
She played Ellie Mae Clamp on the popular TV sitcom The Beverly Hillbillies from 1962 to 1971. She's buried at Bluff Creek Community Cemetery in Zachary, Louisiana. Country music legend Hank Williams died on January 1st, 1953 at the very young age of 29. He died from a heart attack in Oak Hill, West Virginia. Williams is considered to be one of the most influential singers and songwriters of the 20th century. He had 35 top 10 hits and 11 were number one hits. And one of his biggest hits, Your Cheatin' Heart, wasn't released until after he died. He was known as the king of country music and he's buried at Oakwood Annex Cemetery in Montgomery, Alabama. French singer and actor Maurice Chevalier died from kidney failure at the age of 83 in Paris, France on January 1st, 1972. He appeared in nearly 50 movies and had dozens of popular songs and is buried at the Cemetery de Mame La Coquette just outside of Paris. So New Year's Day is all about getting a fresh start in the time when most of us make resolutions. So, I'm curious, what's your resolution? I'll share my resolution with you. This year, my goal is to slow down, enjoy life more. You know, the older you get, the more you start realizing that you have fewer and fewer days left. So, you really want to make the most of them and enjoy them, at least I do. So please share with me what your resolution or resolutions are going to be this year. I wish you well with your uh, resolutions. And I'll hope to see you on my next trip down memory lane. So happy new year, everyone. Until next New Year's Day, be safe and happy. And I hope you all have a good year.